Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. The book of Judas, chapter 8 and verse 24. You want these young men to change in Milwaukee? They need examples. I'm going to tell y'all something. These young men ain't going to listen to y'all if y'all not doing right. I'm going to tell y'all straight. And I know because I was one of the young men. If an older man was trying to tell me anything and he wasn't doing it his damn self, I wasn't listening to nothing he said. So the young man need a real, true, live example. Please. Now therefore, oh brethren, let us show an example to our brethren. If you show these young men the right way, they will change. To keep his statue and his commandment is what? And his commandment is what? And his commandment. That's what make you a man, Art. That will show the young man in Milwaukee. He not meant to be no gear boy. He's bigger than that. Right. He not meant to be no fight boy. He's bigger than that. Right. He not meant to be a GD. He's bigger than that. Right. He not meant to be a fuck one also. He's bigger than that. He not meant to claim nothing but be a son of God. That's right. Because all the stuff I name is outside of his purpose. You understand? That's your job. That's what you were put on this earth to do. To so right the wrong that has been done by our people. So what's going on in the community? Hosea 41. You tell me who they're talking about. We gonna read it. You tell me what people is this. And guess what? The same way we're talking about the things that gotta be fixed, you're gonna find out something. It's a group of Caucasians who call themselves fools, is it not? So they should fit what we about to read. We're going to read this and then I'm going to ask the question. Read. Hosea, said the boy, verse 1, hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord has a controversy with thee, with the inhabitants of the land, because there are no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. But by swearing, and lying, and killing, and stealing, and committing adultery. They break out, and blood does the blood. Do those people that call themselves Jews live in a community like that? No. Who live in a community like that? We do. That's right. That's how you know you are a Jew. All of us right here on this corner, we are the Jews, according to the Bible. But listen to what God said. Go back. Hosea 4 and 1. Read. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 1. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. That's you, Art. That's all my people right here dancing. You want to know why we struggle as a people? You're hearing it right now. Read. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord has a controversy. God said he got a controversy with us, Art. That means he got a problem. He got a problem with the people on that side. And why he got a problem with it? How they behave. Read. With the inhabitants of the land. Because there is no truth. So ain't no truth amongst us. Read. No mercy. No mercy. Do we got mercy for each other? Brothers will double cross each other for joy. Brothers will double cross each other for a woman. Brothers will double cross each other because they had a misunderstanding. These things happen in our community. 
and God said, that's why I got a problem with y'all. We no knowledge of God in the land. Hear that heart? He said, not only do y'all not show mercy to each other, ain't no knowledge of me or much y'all. You know how you know there ain't no knowledge of God in the land? Who do our people say this is? Who do our people say that this is? Who? Jews, who else? Who do our people say that this is? Our people say that that's Jesus. That's why God said, ain't no knowledge of me amongst y'all. Because if we had knowledge of God, Art, we would know that God is black. The angels are black. Jesus Christ is black. Exactly. We don't have that knowledge amongst us. We, you say what? We know you learning this right now. We feed you more information. But us as a whole, we don't know that. You can show this picture to some three-year-olds. Three-year-olds. They only been on the earth for three years. And they will say that that's Jesus. Read. By swearing. And by what? Swearing. Do not we swear? Do not we swear? On my mama, on my daddy. Don't we do that? On folks in them graves. Do not we do that? Read. And lying. And what? And lying. Why we lie? We lie on each other. Some people, some of our people, we so damn evil, we will lie on somebody to get something done to them. These are all things, bad behaviors that we display amongst each other. I ain't even talking about the people that did this to us yet. I'm talking about what we do to each other. Read. And killing. And what? And killing. And killing. We murder each other for nothing. It don't take much. We will shoot up the block for anything, any reason. Read. And silly. And what? And silly. When George Floyd got killed, was not they rioting and looting in Milwaukee? Did not they riot and loot in uh, Kenosha? Guess what? They was rioting and looting in Chicago. What did God say happens in our community? Read. And silly. Are not brothers going around stealing cars? That's big in Milwaukee. These are all the things that you want, must learn the Bible and fix. Because what does a young man need? A young man needs an example. Judith 8 and 24. A young man needs an example. When I was a young man, I had bad examples around me, Art. Uncle Ernest. Hey, tell Uncle Ernest to come down here. Tell Uncle Ernest to come down here. So we are teaching you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans who you are. Read. The book of Judah, chapter 8 and verse 24. You want these young men to change in Milwaukee? They need examples. I'm going to tell y'all something. These young men ain't going to listen to y'all if y'all not doing right. I'm going to tell y'all straight. And I know because I was one of the young men. If an older man was trying to tell me anything and he wasn't doing it his damn self, I wasn't listening to nothing he said. So the young man need a real, true, live example. Please. Now therefore, oh brethren, let us show an example to our brethren. If you show these young men the right way, they will change. Some of them might not, but some of them will change. Read. Because their hearts depend on us. Because what? Their hearts depend on us. The minds of our people depend on the man. The man is the leader. When is the man going to stand up? I'm going to tell y'all something too about this drill music. Because I'm born and raised in Chicago. That music only brings violence. That music back in 2011 brought. 509 deaths in Chicago. I went to school with a lot of the brothers that was in the drill movement, and a lot of them died. Beeping with each other. A lot of them died. Was rapping their music. In the videos, died early. So that music don't help the black community. It helps destroy it. The beat sound nice. But what y'all fail to realize in the song, they talking about smoking people. They talking about dead ops in the song. 
and we're going to pray it for our children because it sounds good. It makes them dance. We, because that hurts, depends on us. That's not a good example for the black community. Drill music is not a good example for the black community. And if you won't change, the young man needs to see change. Period. First Timothy 4 12. You gotta be an example in order for these young men to change. Because if we keep moving with the mindset, drill music, drill music. If it ain't drill music, it's twerking music. We will become worse and worse and worse. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example.